You know things get super intense when they get cranked up to 11. Meet the latest from HTC. This is a U11. Phones seem to be going longer and thinner with like a two by one aspect ratio or like a 2.765 by like 1.2. It's nice to see just a normal aspect ratioed phone. It is a big phone though. It's not for, for tiny baby hands or or just normal adult hands, uh, but it is a 5.5 inch quad HD screen. It's got Corden Gorilla Glass 5 all over it, so it should be pretty protective. But if you plan on getting it wet or, or dusty, uh, know this only has IP67. So obviously this is a very design centric phone. It is extremely glossy. In fact, if you wanna use this like a mirror, like the old Palm Prees back in the day, you flip this thing around pretty much any color, say for the white, which looks beautiful, but not coming to the US. Uh, you can use just as a reflection or like to blind somebody. And usually what comes along with really glossy backs, fingerprinty. So you're gonna wanna keep a microfiber cloth with you. HTC did pack a lot on the software and the spec side. So it is Android 7.1, which is really nice. And it's HTC Sense, but that's not the only sense that's in here. Uh, the big story with the U11 is the Edge Sense. Essentially you can squeeze the phone and you can almost use it like two separate buttons. A short press can be anything you want. You can launch the camera, uh, you can launch a web browser, they made it really customizable. And a long squeeze can launch something else. So you essentially get two separate buttons without having to find and locate two separate buttons on the phone. In our testing, it worked really well. It was kind of fun to set up. Don't know how useful it's gonna be on a daily basis, but if you want extra buttons, you find yourself looking for shortcuts. It's a really ingenious way to do it. And HTC did a nice job putting it together. It also packs pretty much the latest specs. It's got a Snapdragon 835 in there. It's got four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage is the only storage option, but of course you can up that with a micro SD card. Outside of the US though, you're gonna get a different version if you want, you can get six gigs of RAM or 128 gigs of storage. So people have had like a mixed feeling towards HTC's cameras. They've done some cool stuff, ultra pixels in the past and they've kind of reverted back, uh, but the camera looks to be really nice. In our initial camera test, the pictures did look pretty good. It's a 12 megapixel ultra pixel three sensor and it packs the latest camera stuff uh, that you'd expect safe detection, self timer, dual LED flash, f1.7 aperture, HDR boost, 4K video recording. The front camera really packs megapixels. It's a 16 megapixel sensor. Uh, it's got a live makeup feature, auto selfie, voice selfie. You've got a self timer up to 10 seconds, HDR boost, selfie panorama, uh, and full 1080p video recording. So, a really nice selfie camera. Before I talk about sound, I'm just gonna get this one out of the way. No headphone jack. Know it going in. We love it or hate it. Not gonna be able to plug your headphones in unless. They are USB-C, but HTC does do a lot with sound. It's high-res certified. It's got HTC USonic with active noise cancellation, HTC Boom Sound Hi-Fi Edition, so it's got the extra five, so you know it's gonna sound pretty good. And HTC has done a really awesome job with audio fidelity in the past, so I expect even better performance from the U11. On the battery side, it's, it's 3,000 milliamp hours. I feel kind of the same way I do about that as I do about the lack of a headphone jack. Uh, HTC claims we get about 24 and a half hours or so of talk time and up to 14 days of standby time. And of course, all the other Qualcomm quick charge stuff you'd expect is here, uh, like quick charge 3.0. They also added extreme power saving mode. So this is the HTC U11. It's glossy, it's shiny, it's big, it's bold, and it is hopefully HTC's comeback. I'm gonna reserve judgment until I get a chance to actually play with it. We only got some hands on for a real few minutes. The screen looked bright, the camera looked pretty solid. How that all comes together in a package you use on a daily basis, you have to be determined. You know, being able to squeeze the phone is something very new. You gotta retrain your brain to, to grip and grab. But when you are gripping and grabbing, the phone does feel really nice in the hand. HTC spent a lot of time clearly trying to make the screen to the back feel almost bezel-less and to feel like you can't find a seam with your finger. And you can't. The build quality in typical HTC fashion is awesome. Whether or not this is a phone for you, I can't answer yet. Uh, once we get one though in the Techno Buffalo offices, we'll test it and we'll let you know what we think. If you want us to test anything in particular, leave in the comments down below. And if you want to see that full review, give the video a thumbs up to let us know what you want a review of the HTC U11. Until next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo.